Hello my dear children welcome back to our today's mathematics class we are continuing the 9th unit length and weight i hope you all understood the activities that we discussed in our previous classes let's go to our today's session today's first activity decreasing distance the 9 km road from town to school is being tarred 4 km and 300 meters are done till yesterday How much more remains now? How much is the length of the road? 9 km. How much is start? 4 km and 300 m. Here we want to find the length of remaining part. To find out this, the length start is to be subtracted from the length of the road. That is 4 km and 300 m is to be subtracted from 9 km. At first convert all these into meter so convert 9 km into meter we know that 1 km equals 1000 meter so to convert 9 km into meter multiply 1000 with 9 9 into 1000 9000 that is 9 km equals 9000 meter next convert 4 km and 300 meter into meter to convert 4 km into meter multiply 1000 with 4 4 into 1000 equals 4000 4 km equals 4000 meter then add 300 meter with 4000 meter 4000 meter plus 300 meter equals 4300 meter then subtract this 4300 meter from 9000 meter 0 minus 0 0 0, 0 minus 0 0 here we can't subtract 3 from 0 so borrow 1 from 9 0 becomes 10 and 9 becomes 8 10 minus 3 7 8 minus 4 4 4700 4, meter next convert 4700 meter into kilometer and meter At first we have to split 4700 meter as 4000 meter plus 700 meter. We know that 1000 meters make 1 kilometer so 4000 meters make 4 kilometer. And also 700 meters are remaining there. So the length of remaining part is equal to 4 kilometer and 700 meter. Students there is an another way to find the answer. We can simply subtract 4 km and 300 m from 9 km. Look, here is nothing in the place of meter. So we have to put zeros here. 0 minus 0, 0. 0 minus 0, 0. We can't subtract 3 from 0. So borrow 1 from 9. 0 becomes 10 and 9 becomes 8. 10 minus 3, 7. 8 minus 4, 4. 4 km and 700 m we get the same answer students did you understand the activities based on length okay next we are going to learn about weight what do you mean by weight weight is the term used to find the quantity of a particular thing i hope you studied some units of weight in your previous classes which are they Yes, gram and kilogram. What's the relationship between gram and kilogram? Yes, thousand grams make one kilogram. There is also an another unit which is bigger than kilogram. That unit is called quintal. Do you know how many kilograms are there in a quintal? Okay, I will explain. Hundred kilograms make one quintal. students there is also a large unit of weight that unit is called ton students listen there are 1000 kilograms in a ton that means 1000 kilograms make one ton we discussed that 100 kilograms make one quintal therefore 1000 kilograms make 10 quintal we know that 1000 kilograms equals one ton and also 10 quintals make 1 ton next 
Let's discuss some problems based on weight. Listen to this question. Transport. For the Onam feast, 350 kg of rice and 50 kg of sugar were brought to the school. The charges for unloading is 15 rupees per quintal. How much must the school pay? How much was the weight of rice? 350 kg. How much was the weight of sugar? 50 kg. Then let's find out its total weight. Add 350 kg and 50 kg. 350 plus 50? 400. 400 kg. So, total weight equals 400 kg. We know that 100 kg make 1 quintal. So, 400 kg make 4 quintal. See, the charges for unloading is 15 rupees per quintal. So, to find out the unloading charges for 4 quintals, multiply 15 and 4. 5 into 4, 20. Write 0 in the 1's place. And 2 is carried in the tens place. 1 into 4, 4 plus 2, 6, 60. Unloading charges for 4 quintal equals 60 rupees. How much must the school pay? 60 rupees. Next question. The vehicle fare is 225 rupees for 9 kilometers. How much is it for each kilometer? How much is the vehicle fare for 9 kilometers? 225 rupees. To find out the vehicle fare for each kilometer, divide 225 by 9. 225 divided by 9. Take the first digit 2. How many times is it possible? There is no 22 in the multiplication table of 9, so we have to take 18. How many times? Yes, 2 times. 2 into 9 equals 18. 22 minus 18. 4. Bring down this 5 here. We get the number 45. How many times 9 is multiplied to get 45? Yes, 5 times. 5 into 9 equals 45. 45 minus 45. 0. We get the answer 25. So, the vehicle fare for each kilometer is equal to 25 rupees. Students, you have to practice these problems very well and there are some activities for you. You have to do this as an exercise in your maths note. Today's class is over. See you in the next class. Thank you.